Dear Christopher Johnson, The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Since you took over in 2017, the New York Jets are 16 and 36. As I'm sure you'd agree, winning 31% of your games is objectively unacceptable. Since walking off the field in Pittsburgh in January of 2011, the franchise has time and time again made the wrong decisions. While I understand your involvement from 2011 to 2016 isn't what it is today, that doesn't mean you're completely off the hook. We can look at the last four years and find numerous examples of adding to the toxic culture of this franchise. The reporting structure implemented by this regime is the first of many inept decisions. Having both the coach and the general manager report to ownership separately is a recipe for backstabbing and blame. We saw this when Adam Gase undermined Mike McCagnan and got him fired after being allowed to draft another draft class and spend nearly $200 million of your money. Needing a deep dive to look into the GM just to fire him five months after moving on from your head coach makes no sense. Unfortunately, the reporting structure is not the only issue that plagues this team. Decision making, your decision making in particular, has set this team back years. Upon the end of the 2018 season, Todd Bowles was rightfully removed from his post as head coach and a series of interviews took place. With a Super Bowl champion, Mike McCarthy, a college coach who revived two programs in Matt Rule, the college coach of the best quarterback in the NFL in Cliff Kingsbury, and Eric Bieniemy, the offensive coordinator of the best offense in football, in what world is Adam Gase the right decision to develop a young quarterback? Outside of a couple of seasons with Peyton Manning, a veteran quarterback who ran the offense his own way, what has Gase ever done in this league? Over his last six years in the league, his offenses have ranked 21st, 24th, 25th, 31st, 32nd, and 31st in yards, and 23rd, 17th, 28th, 26th, 31st, and 31st in points. Somehow, Gase has received your stamp of approval on numerous occasions, and the decision to keep him through the remainder of the season to protect Sam Darnold is extremely misguided. It's been abundantly clear that the best quarterback prospect this team has ever had has been severely damaged by the ideologies of Adam Gase. If it's a matter of money, not wanting to eat the remaining salary of Adam Gase, then I implore you to please sell the team. Give Jets fans what they deserve. We're not asking for much. I think we'd settle with a watchable product, something we haven't seen in five years at this point. Running a team in the biggest market of the world, New York, deserves the appropriate funding, something that the Johnson family seemingly cannot provide at this time. The NFL deserves better, this team deserves better, and most importantly, Jets fans deserve better. Sincerely, Matthew O'Leary.